Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you an affordable prefab home that ships all over North America. The demand for small footprint homes seems to be on the rise and companies are finding ways to deliver the goods in a bunch of different shapes and sizes. People have been looking for alternative housing options that don't break the bank and companies that are building in that niche have been getting a crap load of attention. Right now, there are new companies entering the space all the time, but what you might not realize is there are also companies in the space older than my oldest pair of gitch. One such company has been refining their offering for the past seven years to provide an affordable modular option for both the United States and Canada. The company I'm talking about is called Nomad Micro Homes with their small footprint prefab home that can be shipped worldwide. What I'm gonna do is tell you about the company, show you exactly what they offer, and let you know how much it costs. Nomad Microhomes is a prefab company that have designed a modular tiny home that doesn't compromise on quality or affordability. They were founded by a husband and wife duo who are on a mission to change lives one tiny home at a time. The website says with their collective years of real estate experience between them, this dynamic husband and wife team brings to the table a wealth of knowledge and expertise in development and marketing, architecture and interior design. Co-founder Ian explains, our experience in real estate development made us realize that the lack of affordable housing would soon become a significant problem across North America. We also realized a solution existed using well-designed smaller home spaces, prefabrication and advanced technologies. An architectural challenge they found too fascinating to ignore. So here we are. They prioritized a small design because they knew it would have a direct effect on construction costs and then to hit a number that people could work with, they took it a step further. Nomad identified labor as a significant cost chipping away at people's pocketbooks, so they designed a system that could be handled DIY, which is do it yourself. Listen, I like the idea of people being able to save a few racks by putting it together themselves, but we have to be honest with ourselves and each other here. DIY isn't for everyone. Before you dive into a project like this tip first, please give yourself a real assessment of your skills and time because some people have it and some of us don't. I'm sure their system is user friendly, but if you have to quit your job to get it done, does the math really make sense? It's noted that they do have user friendly instructions to facilitate quick assembly with handyman level skills, which honestly I do not have. My hands literally cramp up editing videos. Does that make me soft? Yeah, it probably does, but it is what it is. If you decide DIY might not be the best play for you, don't panic, that doesn't mean you can't get one. It says right on their FAQ section that they do have a team of highly skilled contractors that can be deployed, and I know for myself that would be the choice. The way the program works is they have a kit of parts that can be shipped by semi, flatbed, or shipping container depending on how far it's going and how many homes are being shipped. I should note that they do have the ability to ship worldwide, and when leaving North America, the home kit would be shipped in an ocean-going shipping container. Their designs and components conform to the United States and Canada's building codes for single-family structures, so if you're buying from outside of those two countries, a good idea to make sure it conforms to the regs in your area. Some of the uses for the Nomad Microhome listed on their website include home office, rental income, an accessory space to unwind, or a guest house. But when we get into some of the different layouts they have available, I think you'll find there are a bunch more options. What they've come up with is an affordable, flexible housing option for both city dwellers and those who have chosen to escape the hustle and bustle of urban life. Let's have a look at what they have going and how they mix and match units to get unique custom spaces for customers. Nomad microhomes have a structure called the cube. It's the base from which everything else is built. The structure of the cube is built with their patented system using 3D printed steel framing and exterior insulated steel panels. In order to keep the shipping costs under control, they leave some of the heavy bulky items like drywall to be purchased wherever the home is shipped to. They have a full list of specs on their website so buyers can fully understand what's included in the kit and what has to be purchased locally. Like I said, the entire offering is built around their Q model, which has a footprint of 13 and a half feet by 13 and a half feet, but they pack more room into the space with a loft. The website lists the floor space of the cube at 300 square feet, and the way it's set up is exactly as described, a cube or a square. The base model has a door and window on the front, window on the back, and two windows on the front in the loft levels. So for the space, definitely no shortage of natural light, especially since the base cube is wide open. This is the unit people are gonna use for things like a home office or gym, or a space to delete a few beer with friends. These uses are what they call an accessory space. You're adding an unattached room to an existing home. From there, you jump up to the cube live, a full-on dwelling that has everything you need to live in the cube full-time. The description says slightly larger than 
a garden shed, Cube Live makes an ideal home for both backyards and recreational properties. This is usually the point in the video where people chime in about the inability to put these homes anywhere. And while they're pounding away on the keyboards, people are out there actively putting them places. Let's keep in mind if they couldn't go anywhere, these companies wouldn't exist. Just food for thought. The Cube Lib has the living space on the main floor with the bathroom in the back corner and the kitchen on the side. The bedroom is located in the loft, so a space for one or two people, but up from here in size is where things really get interesting. Nomad has created a connect section that allows buyers to mix and match units to get a custom space that fits their needs. The Cube Space Plus Live says combine two cubes to expand your space to create a separate bedroom with ensuite. They've laid out three configurations for potential buyers to choose from. Starting with layout A, which has the ground floor on one cube designated for the living space. The connect section has space for a washer dryer and the second cube has the kitchen, dining room and bathroom. In this layout, both loft spaces are used for sleeping areas and in the rendering, one side has two single beds while the other has one large bed. I know a lot of people watching this video don't want to have to go upstairs to get to their bed. If you're in that camp, layout B might be a better option. The way they have it set up is with one cube designated to a bedroom on the ground floor with a bathroom tucked into the corner. The connect section again has enough room for a stacking washer dryer and the second cube has the living room and kitchen. You walk through the connect section into the living room and the kitchen is on the far wall. The stairs to the loft are located in the front corner and how the loft is set up will be completely up to the buyer. In the floor plan rendering they've got a couple single beds above the living room and an empty space above the bedroom. If it were me I'd use that empty space for my office so I wouldn't have to be so crammed in behind this table. The final layout they've presented is layout C. Layout C is similar to B except they swapped the side the bedroom is on and added a second bath in the cube with the living room. Given the three options for me, I'd go with layout A. I'd have all the living space on the main floor, my bedroom in one of the lofts, and my office where I could stretch my legs a little more in the other. Before I wrap this thing up, I am going to check out the pricing, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. I was on their website and they do have a sale running right now where you can get $7,500 off a unit, but I have no idea how long that's gonna last. The Cube Space starts at $42,300. The Cube Live starts at $52,300. The Cube Live Plus Space Layout A starts at $94,600. The Cube Live Plus Space Layout B starts at $99,400. And the Cube Live Plus Space Layout C starts at $99,400. Keep in mind that's what their current sale price is applied. Also noteworthy on top of the cubes, Nomad offers furniture that can be shipped with the home. I like this because you know they've included items that will work well in their spaces. So if you're looking for a convertible sofa bed, solar backup, or even full off-grid package, those are all things that can be purchased directly on the website and shipped out with the kit. Kind of a cool feature. Nomad Microhomes is a prefab home builder shipping flat pack tiny homes worldwide. They have a cool system that allows buyers to mix and match cubes to get a layout for whatever they're trying to accomplish and can be set up DIY to save cheddar. I think people are going to cook up a bunch of different uses for these structures and with the sale they're currently running, they're probably in for a busy year. I like the idea of being able to mix and match cubes to get exactly what you're looking for, so I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.